What's up guys, Asian here again with another theory crafting video and today we're going to be going over damage shields. Uh, just kind of how they work, whether blocking manages to decrease the damage you take from your damage shield or increased resistances, do those all affect how your damage shield works? Um, so we already went over resistances and penetrations in previous videos, uh, but we didn't really talk about damage shields when we were talking about um, resistances and penetrations as to uh, whether or not they continue to work when you have a damage shield up. Uh, now this is probably going to be more applicable to PvP. Uh, I'm going to probably do a separate video on PvP just because um, I need help in order to do that. I can't exactly test that uh, solo very well. Um, but for PvE, uh, this is kind of what we're going to be seeing when it comes to damage shield. Uh, so this is going to be kind of important because uh, there are a couple of sets out there like Brands of the Imperium um, that provide damage shields for your allies. So they might seem good on paper, but uh, you don't see many tanks, at least in the end game content, you know, doing trials, vet trials, using uh, sets like Imperium. Uh, so there's obviously has to be a reason behind that and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, kind of what that reason is uh, when it comes to how damage shields work. So right now we're over here at St. Felms um, and this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to be testing whether blocking affects how much damage your damage shield eats up and we're going to be testing whether an uh, increased amount of resistances affects the amount of damage that your damage shield eats up. So what we're going to be doing uh, to test blocking is I'm just going to be standing here in front of Felms, not blocking obviously, and just going to be keep on using my damage shield. And then we'll see uh, what the average and the max hits are on combat metrics to see uh, what, uh, what, how much damage my damage shield is eating up. Then I'll do the exact same test again, except this time I will be blocking, maintaining my damage shield again, and we'll compare the average and max. We're going to do the exact same thing with resistances, uh, so we're going to be doing three tests. One, just me standing there with just a damage shield, spamming igneous shield and barrier. The second test is going to be uh, blocking with the damage shield, and the second, third test is going to be with hardened armor using the damage shield and we'll be able to see whether or not um, blocking or increasing your resistances changes how much damage that your damage shield ends up taking. So let's go ahead and get started with the first test, which is just going to be me, uh, me standing there and spamming igneous shields. barrier for some additional damage shield there. So don't have magic obviously to keep spamming it, so I'm just going to use it when I can and otherwise die. There we go. So the way combat metrics works when con in the uh, incoming damage report, it doesn't divide up uh, how much damage your damage shield is eating by skill, it just does it uh, generically in general. So, so here, so it doesn't really tell you uh, what is damaging your damage, it just tells you how much damage that uh, it's eating. So you can see here we're averaging 2648 with a max of 11097. So we're just going to be blocking and seeing if we can get these values to decrease at all. There is going to be some variability just because of the way. Um, the way boss AIs work, but we will try our best to uh, rectify that. So this is the blocking test. We're going to see if blocking makes a difference to our damage shield averages and our damage shield max. So I don't have barrier up, obviously. That's my ultimate. Also lagging a little bit. All right, so I did survive longer, but that's because while I was blocking without my damage shield, I was taking less damage uh, compared to obviously when I'm just standing there spamming my damage shield. So let's go ahead and take a look at incoming damage. This is with blocking. So we can see here our average dropped a little bit to 2496, the max was 6165. 
compare that to here, 2648.11097. Now the max is obviously going to change just because of uh, it were, I'm getting hit by different abilities and things like that. So we're going to be looking mostly at the average here. So the average without blocking is 2648. And with blocking, it's 2496. Uh, so blocking the default de decrease when of incoming damage when you're blocking is 50%. Uh, so if blocking was to affect uh, how much damage your damage shield eats up, then this should be half, approximately half, of this value. But obviously, that's not the case. It's only about 150 damage lower on the average. So it doesn't seem like blocking uh, actually affects how much damage your damage shield will eat up. So now we're going to try with uh, increased resistances. So remember that for every 660 additional resistance is a 1% mitigation. We will only be using hardened armor, which gives us 5280. So it should give us an 8% additional mitigation. So we should see if resistances work on the amount of damage your damage shield eats up. We should see this decrease by 8% or about 250. Uh, now it is going to be a little bit difficult to know whether it's due to resistances or due to... Um, due to the RNG nature of a pull, but uh, we'll try our best. I am lagging a little bit here. Yeah, barrier might as well use that. I uh, did not refresh my armor. I'm actually, I'm gonna die. This test isn't actually valid since I did not re-up my armor when it expired. There we go. No idea why I am lagging so badly tonight. Let's try this again. This time I will try to keep my So that time we had our resistances up, resistance buffs up at all 100% of the time. So let's see what the difference is. All right. So you can see here actually uh, the amount of damage we uh, hit eight actually went up. Take a look here. It, it did drop a little bit, but this is the one where I didn't have my resistances buffs up all the time, so it's well within margin of error. Um, this is the one that was no blocking, no resistance buffs whatsoever. So just based on all these tests, we can see that res damage shields really don't care whether you're blocking or whether you have a resistance buff or not. They will eat the same amount of damage no matter what, and that's kind of... Uh, what damage shields do. Uh, so now for PvP uh, this is something that uh, I'll share here uh, just because um, you can't really test it in PvE uh, at least not in these conditions. Uh, you can't crit on damage shields either so if you uh, are running a high crit build and you're up against somebody who is running Harness and Hardened Ward for instance you won't be able to crit your way through those shields. The shields uh, you can't crit on them at all in PvP. So that's kind of how damage shields work. They will eat the true damage of whatever ability is coming at you. Uh, so they don't care about your resistances. They don't care about whether you're blocking while your damage shield is up. Uh, they will always take basically the same amount of damage no matter what. Um, and that's the same for any shields that you might find on PvE mobs. Um, obviously PvE mobs, the way their mechanics works is going to be a little bit different. For example, the damage shield on Doma House doesn't actually negate all damage. It negates, I believe it's 75 or 80% of the damage he takes. But uh, the shield that Zizhasha takes, uh, the first boss in Maw, 
that damage shield completely negates any damage whatsoever. Uh, so it is going to vary a little bit uh, on PvE mobs how their shields work, uh, but it's pretty much going to be the exact same way here. You can't crit on the shields, um, and whatever value you see on the shield is pretty much going to stay more or less constant. It's only going to be changing based on your own personal buffs, and um, not so much on whether the boss manages to get some random resistance buff. I can't. I don't know of any boss that has uh, resistance buffs whatsoever. So that's kind of it for uh, damage shields. So basically the key takeaway point here is that damage shields uh, will eat the true damage of um, your abilities, of, or at least any abilities that do not deal oblivion damage, uh, because oblivion damage does go through shields. Um, you can't crit on them, resistances don't matter, blocking doesn't matter, they'll just eat whatever the true value of that damage is. So I hope you guys found this video informative, and I will see you guys in the next dungeon.